Hello people and today welcome to another Roblox Studio tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make your character in a GUI. Now this GUI can display your character and it looks pretty awesome I would say. This will be useful for dressing up games what the f or be useful to display weapons with your character in it. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this character display GUI and maybe I'll show you one feature that is cool to add. Stay tuned to the end and yeah, enjoy. So first off, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and add a starter GUI. Then we will add a viewport frame which will be our character display. Next up, let's go ahead and add a world model into the viewport frame. Now this one will be very useful later on. Now before the setup is actually completed, make sure you disable reset on spawn. Just disable it for fun. Now the setup is completed, let's go ahead and add a local script and this is where we're going to code some stuff. Let's go ahead and make some variables. So let's go ahead and make a variable to get our player and also make a variable to get our character. Now once we've done that, let's go ahead and make our camera for the viewport frame. Make sure you set your viewport frame current camera to our viewport frame camera that we just made. Now what we're going to add is a wait duration because sometimes the script needs time to get our character. Or what we can do is we wait until the game is loaded. When your character is loaded into the game, we will must set your character attributable to true. Now this code will have access to clone our character. So let's go ahead and make a variable called clone chart to get our clone character. Then we will parent it to the viewport frame world model. And then let's go ahead and set our clone character position to around 10 studs back and let our character face at the camera C frame. Now we have done that, let's go ahead and test it, shall we? As you can see, our character is in the GUI, meaning it works. <coughs> but however, you can see the display name displays at the ground. To fix this, we will set the clone character humanoid display distance type to none. And as we test it again, the display name is not displayed at the ground. Pretty good. Now our GUI is a bit scary because we can see our creepy face like look at this shit. So I'm going to show you a feature that you can turn your character in GUI. And yeah, let's do it. So let's add more. And we're going to add a service called user input service. And then we're going to add three additional variables which will be used while the video progresses. Now we have done that, let's go ahead and make our input begin function and check if our user input type is in mouse or in touch screen. If it is, then we will check if the mouse is in GOI. If it is, then we will set our hold variable to true and reset our current x axis. We will also make our input ended function and it's the same thing as our begin function but it's false. Now we're going to make functions is when the mouse enters or the mouse leaves, which will set a variable when the mouse is in GUI. And now we're going to make a function when our mouse moves in GUI. So what we'll do is we'll check if our hold variable is false. If it is, then we will stop the mouse move function. If the hold variable is true, however, then we will check if current x variable is not nil. If it is, then we will set the clone character C frame to an angle. The y-axis is where we can turn our characters, so we can say x minus current x. But since we start our current x variable to be nil, this statement will be ignored, so we can drop down our code and set our current x variable to the x argument. Now we have scripted our new feature for the character display. Let's test it, shall we? Now, as you can see, we have a character in a GUI, and let's put our mouse in our GUI. So if we hold click and... <laughs> Now as you may notice, our turn speed is much perfect, but however we made it a little bit too fast. Let's go ahead and go to our mouse move function and go to the angle code. The x and current x equation is depending how much your speed your mouse moves when you turn the character. If we move our mouse a little bit slow, then our turning speed will be 1. But one kind of make this kind of speed. For now to slow it down, we're going to multiply the x minus current x equation to a number that is less than 1. I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.025. You can put any number that fits to your turning speed perspective. And that should fix it. Let's go ahead and test it, shall we? Now if we test our turning feature, 
Now our turning is now much better and now it works absolutely perfectly. Now I don't know how to frick I'm gonna put this into my game. Like, why would I need to use my model for this game for? This is like a tip and trick type thing of how can you actually put your character in a GUI. I'll try and make videos of how can you put this in your shop or display yourself with a weapon. I don't know if I can make those. Anyways, that's all for today's video. If you enjoy it, make sure you like the video. Otherwise, subscribe for more Roblox Studio content and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.